Hello everyone, Jargus here, welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now you may be seeing a successful run of Marth in classic mode. However, that is not the focal point of this episode. No, instead we're going through a bunch of things that I've unlocked since the last video. First up is I cleared 15 minute melee with Jigglypuff. Now one thing I've noticed that is the way the wireframes attack is that the female ones will almost never hit low. They'll always hit in the middle. The thing is, that's, they're pretty tall so they hit high. So if you have someone short like Kirby or Jigglypuff, you can just hold down and duck underneath and dodge almost all their attacks. And so that's what I did. I took out all the male wireframes until there was just the female ones left. And I just left them alone. I pretty much only moved away from the center of the stage when I was getting salted mitch so I moved around the stage to keep them from hitting me. Or when an invisibility cloak showed up because you take no damage doing that. And I grab a parasol. The parasol is the most useful thing you can have here. Because if you do get thrown off the stage at higher damage, you can just do a jump or even her side special, which moves her forward a bit and does not use up a jump, and casually float back to the stage while still being able to fight back. So that's why I had on with the parasol. It took me, I had a few close tries before then, but I just got taken out with extra damage. So it takes a bit of strategy and quite a bit of a luck to survive all the way to the end. But when you do survive all 15 minutes, you unlock Congo Jungle, you know, Donkey Kong stage from the first Smash Brothers game. So that is a great thing to see. We'll be showing off that a bit later on. And after that, I went into Cruel Melee. And that is just as hard as hard as can be because even the slightest tap will send you flying off the screen. Even a jab will be an almost instant kill. There's so many different strategies to try it and, and get it with. Though what I found one with is with Pikachu. Now if you pass through the platforms in a certain way, you can just get them to follow you without attacking. So what I did is I moved him all the way to the right side and then I did Pikachu's down smash, which sends him down and towards the right, for the most part. And I just used his uh, side smash to keep pushing him back. And so I was able to get a handful of kills. You only need 5 KOs. And that'll earn us the Mr. Vesetti trophy. Yes, that bastard from Animal Crossing, that's our only reward for suffering through this mode. Now then again, I guess it's kind of fitting because when Mr. Society shows up, you do nothing but suffer. <laughs> and after that, I went and played several versus matches. 200 of them, in fact. Because you earn different rewards. For 50, you get the Metroid stage, Brinstar Deaths, as well as the Kray Trophy. For 100, you get the Earthbound stage, Foreside and the UFO Trophy. For 150, you get the Falcon Flyer Trophy and the Big Blue Stage from F-Zero. And for 200, you get the Candle Skies Poke Floats, which is one of my personal favorite stages and we'll be showing that off eventually. As well as the Sudowoodo Trophy. Oh, but there's more to be done in Versus Mode. Because there's this coin battle mode, where when you fight each other, you coins will pop out, and you lose half your coins if you get KO'd, and some of them will fall down, and other characters can collect them. And who wins at the end of the timer is determined by who has the most coins. It's an interesting mode, but not many people like it too much. Anyway, when you do 100 of these, you just get the coin trophy, the little Smash Bros. coins that come out. 
and I don't have the footage of unlocking it, but when you land a thousand KOs total in Versus mode, you get the Landmaster Trophy from Star Fox. And if you get 5,000 KOs total, you unlock the score display, which in time matches will show you how many points you've gotten from KOs and lost from being KO'd or self-destructing. I don't know why you had to go up to 5,000 just to unlock that, but hey, that's how they made it. And that's all for versus mode, I also did training mode. Just a little mode where you can make items appear or slow down the speed of the game, and just have a dummy computer opponent that will just take hits so you can practice hitting. Mainly because we wanted to get a very high combo. Now this is one where you can get a massive combo in Dreamland by having the star blocks show up in a U shape and dropping like green shells into it. I tried doing that, but the RNG for the, how the blocks came down was not working in my favor. So I just got a handful of hits with some Fox and Falco and Kirby, you know, just doing the jabs and their down airs because it hit multiple times and we got a few things for a 21 hit combo we got the lipstick trophy 11 hits is the metal box but now the big thing is you need 125 KOs total to get the bunny hood that's across all of your characters and the way I handled that was I just got a couple of Bowser's up against a wall, and I just had Ness use PK Fire repeatedly. I kept him trapped in that combo. It ended up hitting like 90 something, and that got the Bunny Trophy, Bunny Hood. So yeah, I have accomplished quite a bit. And there's still plenty more to go. And another thing I did is, I went and cleared a classic mode. And adventure mode with all the characters I really showcased so far. That'd be like Mario, Luigi, Dr. Mario, Peach. I've done all the Mario characters so far except for one I've just noticed. As well as Donkey Kong and Link. And Marth of course. And one more though that was a bit of an accident but I'll explain that next time. Oh, and Falco as well, we can't forget him. So yeah. And the last thing I've done is, I've cleared Classic Mode with Marth without using a Continue. And that's going to unlock one more character that I'll be discussing in great detail another time. Until then, this has been Jargus, thanks for watching, and enjoy seeing this final battle. Now I'll see you next time for another character showcase. Until then everybody.
Ready? 